Let's bring you more now on the Western response to the continuing war here in Ukraine. And the European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen has been outlining the latest round of sanctions against Moscow. Now, that includes a ban on Russian oil imports by the end of this year. She said the aim is to put maximum pressure on Russia while minimising the disruption to the European Union and to global energy markets. Today, we will propose to ban all Russian oil from Europe. This will be... This will be a complete import ban on all Russian oil seaborne and pipeline, crude and refined. We will make sure that we phase out Russian oil in an orderly fashion, so in a way that allows us and our partners to secure alternative supply routes and at the same time be very careful that we minimize the impact on the global market and this is why we will phase out Russian supply of crude oil within six months and refine products by the end of the year. Ursula von der Leyen, and she said it won't be easy. Uh, let's go to our correspondent in Brussels, Bethany Bell. It definitely won't be easy for those countries which really rely on Russian oil. Uh, they include Hungary and Slovakia. Now, will they go along with these sanctions? Well, we're waiting to hear what the response will be uh, to these proposals by the European Commission. Up to now, as you say, Hungary has uh, said it's firmly against uh, fuel embargoes uh, on Russian fuel. Um, but uh, so far, in an initial response to these proposals, which have to be discussed over the next few days, Hungary said it didn't see uh, where its energy guarantees were in these proposals. Um, what we are hearing from diplomatic sources is that there could be some kind of exemption for countries such as Hungary and Slovakia, which are so heavily dependent on Russian oil that uh, that they perhaps wouldn't would be exempted uh, for another year or two. Uh, we're waiting to hear the details on that. But certainly, if these proposals are agreed to in the next few days, it would be seen as a real watershed uh, in the EU's response response to Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Yeah, and although that is oil, then there's also the question of what the EU does about gas imports as well. Gas is a much trickier problem. Uh, the EU is very, very reliant uh, on Russian gas, um, and uh, that at the moment is not part of this uh, package of sanctions that's on the table. And the oil question is going to be hard too. Uh, President von der Leyen said uh, this, these sanctions wouldn't be easy. It's a question of countries now looking around for alternative supplies of oil, and oil prices have risen since her announcement. And uh, the question is uh, what that will mean for consumers uh, buying petrol at the pumps, uh, questions like jet fuel and things like that. Uh, and also there is the question of the aim of the sanctions, which is to reduce revenues to Russia. But if oil prices keep rising, so will Russia's uh, fuel revenues. Yeah, and, th and that is the big picture, really, isn't it, Bethany? Because the Ukrainians say, you know, as long as Russia is making a lot of money, billions and billions of dollars every month from selling oil and gas, it's able to finance its war machine here in Ukraine. And yes, this is the reason the EU says it's so crucial to impose certainly this oil embargo on Russia. They want to see that money uh, reduced. Um, but uh, it is a long and complicated process, everybody admits, to wean Europe uh, and we're not talking about the rest of the world here, just Europe of, of Russian oil. And, uh, and eventually the hope is some countries, say like Poland, that they must also uh, re uh, reduce the gas as well. Uh, but that is a much more complicated process. Uh, and for now, what they're trying to do is to see whether they can get this proposed oil embargo across uh, the line in the next few days.